Now we're going to talk about our fade brush option under our edit menu and our drop down and our menu bar. If we look at our screen here, you can see I have this picture of San Francisco. What I want to do is, let's say if I put another white cloud in here just for fun. I'm going to, do, I'm going to go Bob Ross here, make a happy little cloud. There we go. Ain't that happy. Well, it's a little bit too strong and it doesn't really fade with the background too much. So if I come over here, I can hit edit and I can hit fade brush tool. Now what this does is it helps me adjust my opacity level of the brush tool that I've just done. Now as you can see it's only brushing doing the one because I didn't I did two different strokes here. So actually I can fade this in and of course you have all the options that you have in any uh, any part of your Photoshop program when you're using your brush tools. You have different ways in which you can do it, you know, vivid light, hard light, soft light, and blah 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 all the way down. So, I mean, this is really what it does. But the thing is, it's like once you've created a new stroke, or once you've done a new action in Photoshop, that's it. You can't fade and go back and fade the one that you've just done. You can only do that to the specific one. So let's say I come in here and I hit my smudge tool. And I let's click here and it's just, oh, well, it's being, huh. There we go. There we go. Now if we go over here and hit edit, and I can fade my clone stamping, but I can't fade my brush tool that I've just done. So I mean, it's it's all in how you use it. It can be used in many different applications throughout this whole program. And just play around with it. Have fun and enjoy.